Charlie Stocker with Hey Garden Guy. Charlie Stocker, Facebook, HeyGardenGuy.com on the website, where either place you can ask questions. We'll answer the questions. We also have a video every day on Hey Garden Guy, Charlie Stocker on Facebook that you can watch. It's a three minute video. The one we're going to do today is based on soil samples. You know, we've talked any number of times, television show, and in this format about soil samples and the importance of them. And I want to go into just, I want to drive down a little bit more how you take a soil sample. The first thing you do, you can get your soil sample bags from your county extension agent. Uh, you also have a form to fill out, or you can get them, I go to Superior Ag. And the soil samples, after you've taken them, will tell you, A, what the organic matter is in your soil. If you need to add organic matter, a good healthy soil will have 5% organic matter. Most of the soils around here have anywhere from 2 to 3. And they'll show you how you can build that up. It'll give you your pH. It'll give you your phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium concentrations. It'll give you your calcium concentrations. So all of those are very important in terms of you knowing how to treat the soil for maximum production and health of the plants that you have. When you fill out the form, make sure you make it clear to them whether it's a lawn, whether it's a vegetable garden, whether it's an area where you want to encourage the trees, be very specific. Now, for the soil test itself, you get a coffee can. A coffee can that's maybe a gallon in size, and you go down six inches, dig up six inches, and at the six inch level, you've got about the nutrients where the root zone is for whatever plant you're looking at, be it a lawn or whatever. Six inches is where you want to be. You take in that area that you're wanting to know what the soil level is in terms of nutrients, etc. You take anywhere from 10 to 15 samples, okay, six inches down, evenly distributed around that area. Put them in the coffee can and then you mix that up real well so it's an even distribution of the soil and you need basically two cups. And here is one of the bags, after you fill everything out, you put two cups of that soil, it's all mixed up for that area, into this bag. You seal it, you've got everything written on the front, and then you send that in. It takes anywhere from a week to three weeks to get that back. And you will have a very good indication of what you need to do for maximum production of that area. Now, how often do you do this? About every three to four years. And the important thing is, on a soil sample, do it at the same time every three years. If you do it in November, each time, September, or whatever. But soil samples are one of the most important things you can use in creating health for all of the plants that you have. This is Charlie Stocker with Hey Garden Guy. Have a great day.